sambal stingray. Will it go with a glass of Sauvignon Blanc? Tandoori chicken. Should I have it with a glass of Pinot Noir? Oh, this seems hard. I give up. Singapore is best known for its local dishes, but with fine wine entering the lives of Singaporeans, how exactly do we make them match? Well, wine pairing can be as easy as ABC, with the help of this wine lecturer who has been in the business for almost four years. Using Riesling, a white wine as an example, this wine connoisseur tells you how you can find the perfect match to your favourite Singaporean dish. So in pairing, we first of all, we look at appearance match. Now when I look at a Riesling, frankly, this Riesling gives you appearance as something very elegant, neat. So when I put it next to the Stingray, you find it, appearance may have a bit contrast in them. Neat, smooth, with something that is rough, you know, uh, a bit of... So you may not find the appearance match to your liking, but nothing stops you from saying, well, it's nice, correct? The next one is the body. So the body match, last time we talked about red wine with red meat, white wine with red meat. It's very much on the weight of, so-called the weight of the wine. So a heavy wine normally match better with a heavy food. Otherwise, if you take a light wine with a heavy food, the light wine will be killed by the, the weight of the heavy food. That's why we talk about red, the red, white, the white. So when we look at this one, then in terms of the body, I would say that uh, this wine with the prawns, good weight, a very good weight. The last one, we, which is, I would say, the most objective of all the match is the elemental match. So first, let's say we talk about something that is oily, the element. The, wine, the food has a lot of oil. So when we take something oily, what do we run after, after that? We run for... In, very often we take some Chinese tea, right? To wash off the oil. So same when you eat something that's oily, we like to take take a wine that is acid to, 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 to wash off the oil. Next one is uh, a wine, a food that is acidic. For example, you take some vegetables, huh? which is very acidic. That acid in the vegetable and the acid in the wine actually cancel off. So what happened is that if you find that your wine is not acidic enough, then you take a very acidic food. The acid in the food will kill off the wine. Straight away, the wine becomes very bland. Salt is a, a very versatile kind of element in the food. Huh? Salt can be good, it can be bad for wine. Very little salt actually will enhance the flavor in wine. Salt is a, a, a taste enhancer. When you have a bit of salty uh, salt in the food, you can feel that the flavor of the wine becomes more flavorsome and much more approachable. But if you have too much salt in the food, then it becomes a killer. So we have just now the, uh, the tantori or the satay. You no know, meat is a bit sweet. With this sweet wine, very nice. Because the sweetness actually uh, reduces the sweetness in the, in, the, in the wine itself. Sweetness of the food reduces the, the, the perception of sweetness in the wine. So if the wine is not sweet, dry, you take something sweet, the wine is terrible. Anything bitter in the food, forget about wine. wine bitters and wine are not good friends. They don't because it doesn't cancel off. It actually adds uh, on to the bitterness taste of the wine and it stays on. Bitters lingers on very long time. So the next one when we talk about is spiciness. So stingray, spicy. The white pen, spice, this hot spice, I mean hot spice. Hot spice, how it works on the wine is that hot spice uh, will be enhanced by the alcohol of the wine. The alcohol in the wine will actually make the food even more spicy. So when you take a spicy food, watch out when you drink wine. Choose a very low alcohol, 9%, 8% alcohol wine. So here are some pairings you can consider. But taste is of course subjective and Malcolm encourages diners to try their own pairings. He also said if you love a particular wine, you would think it goes well with anything. 
And with all those tips, you can now be confident of bringing the East-West fusion down to the uniquely Singaporean ground.